Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we're going to go ahead and add a, um, we're working on our Joomla site. So um, this is kind of where we're at on um, our lesson here. We've added a, um, you know, we've added our template. We've changed the template to have our custom logo. We put a slideshow in on the front page. And now we're going to go ahead and add some uh, functionality into our web application here. Um, so uh, the thing that we're doing here, so we have this uh, sample web application where we're trying to have this new dad boot camp. And this will work for anything, you know, just uh, anything where you're trying to book appointments like dog walking, babysitting, anything where you're trying to schedule uh, individual appointments. So uh, we're going to use this PB booking. Okay, so this is on the Joomla extensions directly. It's PB booking. Um, and this is the best thing uh, out right now that's non-commercial. So uh, we went ahead and downloaded it. If you go to their download site, you don't have to... Um, to register anything, you basically go PB booking, you scroll down, you choose your Joomla uh, version, so we're Joomla 3x, 3.x, and then we click download. And we get to this page, and we're going to click on this name right here. Okay, and this will download the zip file that you need. Okay, um, so let's go over to extension managers. Um, okay, so you would have downloaded that. Remember, now we're in our uh, so this is where you should be at. So we have our tab, our home tab with our Joomla site. We have our administrator tab open. So we're going to go and we've downloaded our PB booking, right? Um, so the PB booking, if we click this, basically you're going to get a download for a zip file. Oop, there we go. Get download for a zip file. There it is. So you just save that to your computer somewhere. Okay. And I've already done that, so let's go ahead to Extensions, Extension Manager. And we're going to click Browse. And then we're going to go ahead and click on um, PB Booking here. Uh, I tried out their other extensions. They didn't seem to work too well with Joomla 3. But remember, this video is being made right when Joomla 3 came out. Uh, so uh, what you're going to find, once Joomla upgrades, it's kind of a few months lag time. Uh, if I was putting up a site that was going to be a production site, I would choose a Joomla you know, previous version. Um, you can find long-term support versions of Joomla. And uh, if I was putting up a, a, a commercial you know, production site, I would choose a long-term support version of Joomla, which is Joomla 2.5. Um, so anyway, but we're going to Joomla 3, so let's go ahead and uh, we upload and install our PB booking. Our thought here on Joomla 3 is that if you're going to learn Joomla, definitely go with the latest version, uh, because why learn something that's going to be a couple years old by the time you're using it in production? So, um, Okay, so we have our PB booking installed. Okay, now let's go ahead and once it's installed, let's go ahead and add a menu item. So, so we have this home, uh, home button here, and now we're going to go ahead and add a menu item for this PB booking. Notice that in the components, we already see it here. Okay, so it's, uh, online booking, uh, and now we're going to go to the menus. Okay, so we have kind of two pieces here. So basically, once it's installed, we have this back-end version on our administrator site under components. You'll see Purple Beanie Online Booking, and that's where we can go in and we can kind of change things here. Notice they had a, it's a massage. The sample data, a lot of times they'll have sample data that comes in with these. Uh, so in this case, the sample data was for a massage place. So let's say, um, let's go ahead and change the services. So we went under components. Uh, services, or sorry, we went to components, purple beanie services, and let's go ahead and delete some of these. Okay, so our one service is going to be, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and edit, the one service is going to be in home new dad training. Okay, so this is where somebody can make an appointment for us to come in and give them in-home new dad training. So maybe it's like a, a lesson for new dads, okay? And that's gonna be, our duration is gonna be 60 minutes. Um, and our price for those 60 minutes is going to be uh, $100 for that hour. Okay, so, boy, we're going 
for the we're going for the upscale market, I guess. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, we take a look here in this PB Booking Manager. Um, so basically, oops. Okay, so basically trading hours and hours and holidays. So uh, basically, this is where you're going to add in your opening and closing times. Notice these are in a military time clock or 24-hour time clock. Um, so this goes from 10 to 20. Okay, so that would be from 10 a.m. until um, 10 p.m. Or no, 8 p.m., which is fine. Okay, we like to work every day, same time. So I'm just copying and pasting these in. It looks like um, it auto formats the time frame there. And then we can do block dates. Uh, so basically what we can do is we can uh, we can set uh, we can set in these block dates, right? <laughs> um, this would be days that um, people are not allowed to schedule, which would be good. Okay, now the calendars. <clears throat> uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and delete some of these. Okay, because we only have one service we're offering, right? Call it in home new dad training. We can have a calendar specific email. Okay, so this this component set up so you could have multiple people working in out of the same uh, service, right? So if you had multiple, say, dog walkers, you could have a calendar for each individual dog walker who would go out and um, actually keep appointments with people. So you have a calendar-specific email, which we really don't need. Okay, so here we go. Save and close. Okay, configuration. Um, so these are going to be... Um, uh, your email. So when somebody actually sets an appointment, uh, what we can do is um, your, we're going to change treatment to in-home training, right? So this is the email that would go out to your customers once they set an appointment, right? Okay, um, and then uh, so we can go ahead. We can do all of these things. So uh, and you can go ahead and look in through all these uh, these items. <clears throat> okay. So uh, so now let's go ahead. So we've kind of configured our, our options here in the PB Booking Manager. And now we're going to go ahead and add the menu item. So we're going to go, our, we're only using one menu currently. So that's our main menu. <clears throat> so let's go to our um, main menu. Under menus, click on main menu. Looks like it's not letting us go for some reason. There we go. Okay, so we only have the one item. Okay, so now we're in a menu. Uh, so <coughs> in Joomla, <coughs> excuse me, in Joomla, uh, the menus are used um, uh, to control access to the site. The menus are used in a lot of interesting ways in Joomla. They're used to um, decide how to display items. They're used to uh, control access to things. So the Joomla menuing system is integral to the Joomla web application, right? Uh, so, so menuing <clears throat> is really a thing in and of itself. So 
So we want to go ahead and add a new menu item for our PB booking. We go ahead up to new. Uh, and then we're going to add a menu item type. So this is really different for Joomla 3 here. Uh, this is very different from the other previous versions. So we go ahead and we go menu item type. We go select. And now we're going to go through and it gives us all these different types of uh, types of items here. So let's go to probably online booking basic version and we're going to do a PB booking standard layout. Okay. Menu title. So the menu title is actually what's going to be this blade. So we're going to call this in home training. Let's call it private private training. Okay. We're going to have it published. Our location is on the main menu. And then the parent item, we can actually do sub items, right? So we can if we say menu item root, that's going to be it's going to appear right here next to home. A sub item would be if we hovered over home, that's what we'd get. So we'll go do that in a little we'll do that in the next video, but uh, for now let's just make the parent item menu root item. Default page. Uh, we want to keep that to no. Default page means this is your home page, basically. Um, access is public. This means you don't have to be registered. So if we put registered right here, it means that the item would not appear until somebody logs in. Okay, so we don't have a login portion to our site yet. So we're just going to make this public, and we'd want it to be public anyways. The target window, we can make that parent, new window with navigation, new window without navigation. So these are pop-up windows. One with navigation, one without. Okay, so the navigation means our menu bar. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We can go to uh, advanced options. For now, we're not going to do this. One of the coolest things that they have here is a link image. So this means that you can put a small icon on your menu, which makes it look really cool. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, um, but we could do that. Okay, uh, click save. Okay, so there our menu item is saved, and we can do save and close probably. Uh, so let's go ahead and reload our home page. And there is our second uh, menu item here. So we have home and private training now. So let's go ahead and click on private training. Okay, so here we have our online booking system. So it doesn't look so great right now, right? Okay, so notice that this is really the way you have to go with uh, with Joomla here. Uh, so basically, what we have is that you know we kind of have this vanilla online booking system. Uh, we want to go ahead and change this to make it look a little bit better. <clears throat> so first of all, do we really want it to say online booking system? I'm I'm saying no. So <laughs> so let's go ahead back in and let's go back to our components and we're going to go ahead and. Um, take a look at this uh, purple beanie component system. This uh, uh, system again. Let's go over to configuration, and we're going to take a look at. Oops. Okay, so we have kind of this. Uh, ugly um, message down here. Now this online booking system, so you know it's it's free, it works. Um, now if we were going to use this in a production site though, we'd want to go in, we'd probably have to go ahead and use Firebug to actually go in and take a look at where the CSS is uh, in here and I'd want to go in and change things like um, there's no facility for changing this online booking system header um, we'd probably want to go in and make this look a little bit nicer, but it does work. So let's go ahead and change this message. We can do that uh, easily through the interface. Um, so let's go to calendars. Oops, I mean configuration. Calendar message. Uh, so, and we're going to, um, we're just going to say uh, select. Select a date to schedule your, your appointment. Okay. And then we're going to
going to say, oops. Thank you for scheduling your appointment. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click Save. That's under Configuration. Okay, notice then if we reload the page, uh, we're going to say to select a date. Now this, uh, this licensing is GPL, so that means we can change anything we want. So I would also go in and change this, um, this uh, this advertisement down here powered by PB booking okay um, only because of the fact that they didn't if they would have added it in a more um, you know uh, well-designed way then we wouldn't need it in there but as it is you know there's no instructions or anything for the user so it's kind of difficult um, having nothing no text or anything saying what for the what the user should do here Okay, so we have our online booking system all set up. So let's say that the user wants to go ahead. They say, oh, I'd like to, on June 6th, I'd like to schedule. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so uh, now one of the cool things here, so they go in and they choose a date. Now what I'm doing here is actually testing the system, right? So this is one of the things that you have to do. Basically, your a web application is a list of, um, you could describe a web application as a task list. That means things that the user can do on the website, right? So one of those, you know, our main functionality here for the website, the whole purpose of the website is to have the user schedule an appointment. So that has to work on the website uh, or the, you know, the web application or the web application is, is useless essentially uh, for that particular task. So let's go back in. Um, let's take another configuration here. Let's go to date configuration and uh, see if we can so the time increment is 30 let's make that 60 instead we commences on uh, Monday it's a little odd that they don't have a way to uh, change the time settings the times a little funky especially in the US um, because of the fact that we're showing it in the 20 hour 24 hour clock which is really odd um, a lot of people can't understand that but interestingly enough <laughs> it does kind of work for the site since it's a new dad boot camp it does kind of work, uh, mainly because of the fact that it's um, that it is uh, a military time. So for your website, we might want to go back in and change that a little bit uh, in the actual PHP code. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, so basically, the user chooses us chooses one of these available links. Uh, they put their um, they put their details in. So we're going to test this out. You want to walk all the way through it. So we're going to go test test. And you want to put in your own email, okay? So, so you want to test out all the functionality, right? So you would put in your real email here, and we say book now. Okay, we say book now, and let's see what happens. Okay, thank you for booking. Okay, you will receive a link to your nominated email address to validate your appointment. It's not reserved until it is, has been validated. Okay, so we should get an email in our email site or our email address. Um, now, okay, so let's go ahead and so we have kind of our, that is how we install our component. So uh, good luck. Go ahead and install your, um, your booking component and or your, uh, yes, your online booking component and um, uh, configure it. Uh, good luck.